Sinking into Sleep, A Journey Through Language and Imagery. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into a beautiful and evocative phrase that often appears in English literature and everyday conversation, sinking into sleep. This expression is rich with imagery and meaning, and understanding it can enhance your language learning journey. Let's explore what it means, how it's used, and why it's so compelling. The phrase, sinking into sleep, uses the verb, to sink, which typically describes a gradual descent into a lower position, often driven by gravity. However, when combined with, into sleep, it captures the transition from wakefulness to sleep as a gentle, peaceful process. This metaphor suggests a natural, effortless movement towards a state of rest, evoking feelings of comfort and relaxation. It's as if sleep is a soft, welcoming place that one gradually falls into. Imagery is a literary device that uses descriptive language to paint pictures in the reader's or listener's mind. The sinking into sleep phrase is a perfect example of how English leverages imagery to convey more than just a literal meaning. It invites us to imagine sleep as a sanctuary, a safe space where one can let go of the day's burdens and descend into tranquility. This use of imagery makes the phrase memorable and emotionally resonant. This phrase is not just limited to poetic or literary contexts. You might hear it in everyday conversations, movies, songs, or read it in books, where characters or narrators describe the act of falling asleep. It's often used to emphasize a peaceful, undisturbed sleep or to describe the process of falling asleep after a long, tiring day. Sinking into sleep can also appear in more metaphorical contexts, suggesting not just physical rest, but also a mental or emotional escape from reality. Understanding phrases like, sinking into sleep, enriches your English vocabulary and helps you appreciate the beauty and depth of the language. It's a reminder of how English can use simple words to evoke vivid images and emotions, enhancing our communication and expression. We hope this exploration has helped illuminate the phrase for you and added a new layer to your language learning. Until next time, keep diving deep into the wonders of English.